I'm here with John Tavener, the head coach of SPG. Um, just want to ask you a few questions about Arnie. What's your, what's your impression of Arnie as a player? Um, well, everybody knows he's a very tough fighter. Uh, he's mentally tough, he's physically tough. But um, the biggest change that's happened over the last couple of months is that he's really worked on improving his skills in all the areas. So I think people are going to be surprised to see the difference in, in this fight from his last fight. He's uh, just got a lot more skillful, in, in his, especially his grappling. And uh, even his stand up has, has changed a little bit. But, uh, so I'm, I'm very excited to release the new version of the new so, uh, you mentioned his last fight there, the last fight yeah, over a year ago. Do you think Rimbos still playing issues tonight? No, no, I mean, like uh, in, in Mjolnir, we're trying to nice we have a cage and you simulate the fights twice a week. He's getting in almost 20 around, 25 minute rounds a week um, in, that, in that atmosphere and in the cage. Um, so I don't think it's going to This fight got set up relatively late notice, five weeks. Yeah, how's his training went for that in the past five weeks? Well, he's been training at a very hard, I won't say hard pace, but very consistent pace for the last couple of months because he was in he was in um, in LA at a couple of boxing gyms for the beginning of the summer. So he had a couple of months at pro boxing gyms, and um, then he came home, and then he was training for training with uh, uni players. You say that you straight into that, and then for the last couple of weeks he had Kovel. Over, uh, who's getting ready for his fight? So I guess he's almost been, if, if you want to call it, training camp since about June, so June, July, August, four months, almost five months now. So, uh, what do you know about Wayne Murray? Um, he's a good tough fighter, um, good experience, um, I think more stand up than, than grappling. Has a, has a couple of big KOs on his on his resume. Um, yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. I think I think him and Arnie are quite similar. So um, um, I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup. And, um, have you watched much tape on Murray? Uh, I wasn't able to find much online. Um, so I, I don't I don't watch a whole lot to be honest. If, I, I, if I'm getting ready for a guy, I'll, I'll maybe watch. 60 seconds of, yeah. or a, a minute and a half. Like, I think you can get caught up trying to analyze somebody and then they walk in and they change stance. Yeah. Or you wa you realize you're watching the fight from a year ago. I know my fighters, if you were looking at him from a year ago and, and today, you're going to be fighting the wrong guy. So I don't, I don't really look too much at who they're fighting. I instead look at the fighter, my guy, and try to say, okay, well, what areas are you good at? Let's make them even better. What areas are you weak at? Let's improve on them. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't get, uh, you know, I'll look to see if he's a self Okay, that's something to, to take note of. Um, there's a slightly edge towards grappling and striking. Okay, that's enough. Now. Let's forget about it. Let's not look anymore. Let's just get on with training. Uh, can I be bold enough to ask a prediction for me? Uh, second round of head and arm choke. There you have it. Thanks, John. Thank you very much for your time.